Somebody died. I see this homicide. Mm -hmm. It's the real deal. It's just like watching the first 48. Mm -hmm. you in the and you in the thick of it right now. Never thought of it. Mm -hmm. Never thought you'd be accused of murder because of all the neighbors out there said that oh, I ain't tripping about being them girls kid. were shooting at them boy, that boy. They ain't say them girls. Oh, I, oh contraire. <laughs> oh, contraire. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Crime Circus. My name is Drip Drop, and tonight I'm going to keep the intro short and sweet for you. This case is a multi-part series featuring the alleged female Orlando assassins. Apparently two cousins that are teenagers decided to shoot one or more weapons from their vehicle and killed an innocent man that was driving another car. We're going to investigate this case here at Crime Circus. This is episode number one. Let's see what this young lady has to say for herself. Can I take these off? At least one. Can you type push up? Since we obviously just came, picked up and didn't do any of the stuff or anything. What's your first name? Marky. How do you spell that? M A R Q I A. Yes, last name Hamilton. Hamilton? Mm hmm. Date of birth? 11302. 11302. Alright, you have a middle initial? A. Perfect. Alright. Hang tight for a minute. How much longer? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Right. We're gonna get a female, female officer. Yeah. Right. So I've been holding for like 10 minutes. Alright, we're gonna get her right now. Try to get one as fast as we can. Can I make a phone call? Yeah, when once that once that female comes over here, then she's gonna talk to you. How much long does I have to pee really bad? No, I don't know. Once we call them, we'll bring them over. I understand that it's extremely boring. You just sit here waiting. I promise you, we're doing the same exact thing. So we'll wait. I don't right know why I'm come. back here for. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they don't tell us much. They keep us out of the loop. We just stand here. So I'm just trying to make this as comfortable for you as possible until you know it's time. So where's my cousin? She's here too. So we're also waiting on a guardian for her as well. So she don't have a guardian. Yeah, she's 17 years old. I know, but her my mom, her auntie's in the hospital, just had two strokes on her brain. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is not ideal. Trust me. 
Like, there's not many things I can say to make you feel better about the situation. Okay. Not so, on my mom to get her. Well, that mean, I think that they're already doing a detective's on that right now. So, uh, again, that keeps us out of loop. I'm just here to try and entertain you as best as possible yeah. until, I mean, I got a coloring book. <laughs> Can you I can't give you a phone or anything like that, but like, if you wanted to, like, Colonial and Huey, I don't know. Or like I said, I was just trying to make you as comfortable as possible. Until for then. Okay. So how long does it take? Um, yeah, we had another officer, the other officer that you were here with. He just went off to check on them, see what's going on. So I'm hoping that'll kind of, like, check in for who? Who needs to speak to you right now? So I'm trying to see how long it's going to take before. So you don't know what this is about? I'm here just guarding. No, I was just a transporting officer. I took your cousin, so they're not telling us much of anything either. She all right? Yeah, oh. she's doing great. Oh. That might have been uh, with but, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, knock on the door if you need us. We'll hear you, okay? What time is it, sir? I got you. Yeah. It's uh, 2.22. Can I get a cup of water? I can find some for you, yeah. Just give me a minute. Anything else? So they're here now? And I'll get to do an area check for one problem like so now. Yeah, to yeah, now, but low cut hair, black so hair. So I should be able to talk to you, okay? Black can. I'll see if I can find some. Okay, who did you work? Hmm? Who did that? Oh, this man named King hmm. Tuck. He worked. For, he used to work for Black Ink. No, that's not bad. Like, it's cartoony unique. I ain't yeah. seen anything like that before. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Cool. You going to take a mile to work, pull us on the ground. I ain't even say nothing. They straight threw me on the ground. I cussed all their ass off. Well, I tell you, I appreciate you being cool with us. I'm being cool because you being respectful, too. Yes, ma'am. But so. do you know what's going on? Like I said, we just here watching y'all. They call us up here to help out. So who all in here? Uh, you and him and your cousin. And, and mom. And mom. That's about it. So. <laughs> what my mom been doing? Don't know. No idea. So hopefully they'll come to you. Well, what's McCall at? Hmm? Bit. Ooh. What's McCall at? Right. Yeah. The other one. The other one. Where the other one at? At the house. London? Oh, no, I don't know where London is. No. So I'll let you rest for now. Hopefully they'll be too I can't soon. rest. Can I sit out there with them? No, I got you in here for a reason. So. Y'all recording me. I ain't doing it. I'm just sitting here. It's freezing cold in here. I know. Trust me. Like I said, I told him and her too. If we could lower down the heat or turn up the heat for you, we would. But you can keep it open. No, I can't. Crack it open. I can't. You're sitting right out there. I understand. I know. This is where we do things. So, 
Because you've been so cool with us, is I'm lending you more courtesy than I get most people. It's freezing here. Yes, ma'am. Hopefully, more people are talking about it. <laughs> what my mama doing here? This is crazy. You don't think it's crazy that nobody told us that while we're here, though? Everything ha- every- There's a method to madness. Everything's happening for a reason, so we're just here right now trying to make you as comfortable as possible until they talk to you. I was on beat, though. I've been here. I've been by the police since 11. Me too. So I don't know. I've been here with the whole time, right? No, I've been, I got pulled over since like 11. Yeah. So, she knocking on the door now. Big. Where your phone? Babe, where your phone? Where your phone? <laughs> G- I ain't do nothing. You tripping. Can I talk to somebody? I've been here. I don't even know what I'm here for. Nobody tell me what I've been here for. I've been sitting here. Just okay. sitting here. It's uh-huh. freezing in this room. Nobody came here to talk to me. It was that serious. Somebody would be in this room right now telling me what's going on. All right. I'll see what I can find out. But we came up in the middle of all this, so we don't even know what it oh, is. Oh, this is the second shift? Yeah. So what's going on? I've been here. That's what I don't have an answer for you. You see what I'm saying? I don't have an answer for you. So it's freezing here. I'll see if we can find something. Uh, but, I mean, we ain't got nothing except what we got on here. Can I so. talk to somebody? Because I've been here just sitting here for too long. Right. Not even been told what I'm here for. All right. I'll see what I can find out for you. Please and thank you. Pete? Your mom's in there right now. Billy. So. Is anybody come and talk to me? We were to talk to your mom, so I went looking for her. I didn't see her. Uh, the detective that's supposed to be talking to you, so. Billy. Boy, why well, I'm not laughing? I'm laughing because this shit is dope. This shit is dope. Mm. So, yeah, I'll come get you when she's out of the bathroom, all right? Let me talk to her. Let me see her. Not right now. That's why you're in a room right here. Otherwise, we'd have you all in a room together. Yeah, I might as well. 
So I couldn't get you when she's done, all right? Oh my goodness, it's freezing. I'm like, Okay, y'all, this is the last one. Okay, y'all, I'm coming. They're in there right now talking to her. What are they talking to her for? They pulled me over. They should be talking to me. I'm absolutely sure they're going to be talking to you too. They need to come on. Close. How are you doing? Can you go to the bathroom or anything? I'm ready to talk. I've been sitting here. I don't know what I'm here for. I've been sitting here forever. I'm just ready to talk to see what's going on. Okay. We're going to, we're going to, we'll sit down. Come sit right over here. Let me get the, I'm going to talk to the detective. You know who we are? Yeah. Homicide detectives? Mm hmm Okay. Homicide. Mm hmm So can you tell me what happened? You know what's going on? I'm almost dead. Ooh. We'll work on that. We'll talk to that. But I'll tell you right now. I'm talking to your mom. You better be, you got to be, you got to be honest with us. Just, what, what I'm. Hold on, hold on. We'll explain all you. Can you explain? Now I've been here. I've been. I got slammed on ground by the police. I've been here since eleven. I've been here since like twelve. Okay. What time is it? Four. Let me just. You got a bathroom or anything? No, all I right. just want, want to drink or some chips or something. All right. Else right now. Can I talk to him? Because y'all put me over. Y'all didn't pour her over. Y'all should be talking to me. They're going to get to you. They need to get, I've been here since 12. Okay. This don't make no sense. Y'all put me over, not her. Y'all need to be talking to me. Okay. They're going to get to you. Uh, one's in one. And... No, because y'all talking to everybody but the person y'all need to be talking not, to. They've only spoke to one person, which is the older female. I don't know who that is to you. That's my mother. Yeah, and y'all pulled me over. Y'all slammed me on the ground, so y'all should be talking to me. Okay. They're going to get to you. Ain't no, they need to get to me now. I've been here since 12 o'clock. Okay, I relayed a message. No, he already came by. I'm waiting for him to come back. This okay. don't make no Let sense. Let me look for him. I don't know where he's at right now. Who is it, a male? It's two males. They're supposed to come back. I'm waiting for them right now. There's a male and a female, the only two that are here right well, now. It was now, a male, male with It was a male that came by and said he's coming back. He, he ain't come back. Y'all talking to everybody but me. Like I said, they want to spoke to the mom, your mom. I Give got pulled over. I should be the first one y'all talk to. I don't want to get pulled over. Okay. I was Give me a so y'all should talk to me. Y'all doing everything but doing y'all job. Okay. Yeah. Give me a sec. Bro. They're not related to you. I know Watch they're not. Name. I'm just can you go get the detective? I, I have to go get him. I've been here. It's freezing cold. I can't get him you standing by the door. Give me a second. I think they went downstairs to take your brother to leave with somebody. So nobody's even up here right now. So it's cold in here. It's freezing cold. I've been here since 12. I can see if there's something that you can put on. What do you want? A blanket or something? It don't matter. I just Let me see if I find something that you can put. Are you just cold? I'm free. I'm ready. I've been here since 12. They talking to everybody. Like you said, I, I don't want to get pulled over by the police. So you should be talking to me. Okay. I don't even know what's I'm going sure on. Get to you. Let me see if I find your blanket or something. I don't I'm, know where they went. So how much longer this gonna take? I I don't know. I can't tell you that. If I told you something, I'd be lying to you. Let me see if I find something for you. Damn. Can I speak to the detective? Who are you? What's your name? Marquita Hamilton. Okay. And you were in a white car? Mm -hmm. All right. Let me get him. How long is it going to be? Because they say it's going to get him 15, 20 minutes. Who said that? One of the officers. Mm. Okay. You got to pee? Yeah. You want to go now? No. I'm just going to talk to you. Okay. Where's 
said to tell them. I can't stay here. I'm getting sick. It's too cold to be in here. The detective, the, the female that came in here was a detective. I wasn't talking to her. I was talking to a man. Did she say she was going to go get the man? Y'all keep, both of y'all said that. Two people told me that. Nobody can't come back yet. Oh. And I'm getting sick to I'm my sure stomach. I'm sure he got it's, a word, so. It's too cold to be in here in my stomach. I'm going to throw up. What are you going to throw up on? It's too cold to be here. I can't be it's too cold to be here. I don't feel good. You want the fire department? I know I want the detective. Okay. I'm sh she's the detective. She well, works with she him. Come, well, can she come talk to me then? I think she's talking to somebody else right now. Well, what other detective at? I don't know. I'm just here. If y'all knock, if y'all need anything, that's what I mean. So who is y'all? Who is still here? You're here and some other female. I don't know. Uh, younger, proper younger female. Mm -hmm. And who else? That's it. So my mom left? I don't know. They all went downstairs with your brother. And then your brother, I think, is getting picked up by somebody. That's yeah. your brother, right? The one I was wearing the red? Mm-hmm. My younger brother. I need to talk to the detective. Because this don't make no sense. Okay. Like I said, she's the one who works with him. So if anybody's going to get him here the fastest, it's going to be her. Well, can you go get her or go get somebody? She's in the middle of talking to somebody else right now. So if she finishes up, I'll let her know. Talking to who? I was the one dropped by there was more. There's multiple people in here. It's multiple. not just y'all. I've been here since like 12. There's, there's multiple people in these rooms. There's more than just two rooms. I understand that. You need the bathroom or anything? It's too cold to be in here. I don't feel good. I can't sit in this cold room any longer. Okay. Do you want the fire department? No, I can't sit in this room any longer. Okay. Give me a, give me a few minutes. I'm waiting on her. Like I said, I'm just here if y'all need anything. I understand, but I'm getting sick to my stomach. I can't sit in this room any longer. Okay. You need the fire department? Nope. I just uh, can't sit in this room. Can you keep the door open or something? Or take no, the door, door? got door to be closed. Because it's freezing in here and I can't sit in here. The door got to be closed. Put me on suicide watch. Hello, to the Yeah. They're talking to uh, the girl with the purple hair mm -hmm. right now. So they should probably get to you next. I said they probably get to you next. And the girl with the purple hair. So, is he coming? They're talking to the girl with the purple hair right now, and you are next. You ain't got me no blanket. No blanket. Sorry about that. You got your shirt, though. It's freezing in here. What time you got, sir? 5.15. Is he coming? They're right over there. He's talking to the guard prepare. Oh, he's okay. Need the fire department? Can I go to the bathroom? Yeah. Oh, just hang on one second. Oh, okay, well, someone's gonna talk to you. Just hang on one second. Well, just wait for a female. Keep saying that. I've been waiting since 12 o'clock. Okay, well, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Just wait for a female. I'll be here in a second. A female? I need to go to the restroom.
You go to the bathroom. Can you, can you go talk to me? Yeah, we're coming in right now. She's got my partner going to the bathroom. Do you got to go to the bathroom beforehand? Oh, I will talk to you right now. Okay, we're going we're gonna to come right here and we'll talk to you, okay? Why don't you do it? We're going to sit down and explain to you. But I, I told you before what we do. So, you're here for a murder investigation. A what? Murder investigation. What do I have to do? I'm talking about it. But what, oh. she's, she's going to the bathroom. We're going to come in. I'm can not, you just start talking? I got to, let me grab, let me grab my stuff. I'll sit down with you. Let me go grab it right now. Coming in. She's gonna come in. We'll get started. Before that, I don't want to get. I'll get just get the the basics from you. Okay. Get this knocked out, so we can get you home. All right. It's uh, Marquia. Mm -hmm. Beautiful name. Thank you. It's Hamilton, right? Yes. Dude, I didn't get, I didn't get too far in. No, go ahead. She's been waiting on you a long time, haven't you? Yeah, she's been patient. You've been patient. All right, what's, uh, where are you staying at? 315 West Concord Street. And what's your date of birth? 113, that's it. 02, you said? Mm -hmm. Um, what school do you, you go to? Jones, but I supposed to be going to Cookman. I graduated Bethune? from Jones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what do you... Little, little birdie told me you're going to military. Yeah, I'm going to military too, but next year. What, what branch? Army or Navy. Which one do you want? I did Army all in high school, so probably Army. Probably Army? What do you want to do in the Army? Something from the justice field. You want to, do, uh, you want to be like... I used to want to be a detective or a lawyer. What they call it? Is it the Jag there in the Army? Or is that, mm -hmm. that's Navy? I think that's Navy. Yeah, yeah, but that's cool. And uh, when are you starting at cooking? I've got to do online classes right now because of the recording. Okay. Um, so you, you stay down there over there on uh, Concord. Where do you work at? Sunny's. Sunny's, where at? Um, OBT. OBT. And you work there full time? Mm, I get about 38 hours a week. What's your normal schedule there? Mm, I work pretty much every day. I be only off like two days. Two days? Or three days. And the days I work, I, be, uh, I do a double. So we do like all day. Okay. Uh, did you work uh, Wednesday? What day is when, what the dates of Wednesday? Let me look. Um, 22nd. Yes. What, what hours did you work on the 22nd? Four to nine. You got to flag a... Do you see the schedule? You got one of those uh, photographic memories or... Four to nine. Or is it you just always four to nine on Wednesdays? No, it's different, but I have a hot schedule that I log on every day. Oh, okay. What about... Um, what about uh, the 23rd? What's that day? It's Thursday. That was yesterday? Yesterday. Yes, I did. When did you work? Yesterday, I think Thursday I worked four to nine, and I was off Wednesday. You're off Wednesday. I believe so. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think Thursday I worked four to nine. I'm not sure. Okay, um, were you supposed to work today? Mm -hmm. No, we'll do it tomorrow. When, when do what do you work tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Uh, that'd Saturday. be Saturday. Mm -hmm. Um, most likely ten to eight or ten to ten, all day. Okay. Um. So. What did you do uh, yesterday? What time did you wake up? Like 12, 11, 12 ish. Actually, go ahead, go ahead. Where'd you wake up? Where? Where? Yeah. I was at my boyfriend's house. Who is? What do you mean? I'm sorry. Who's that? Brandon? <laughs> Why y'all got that? Yeah, my boyfriend. Can I tell you 
me what's going on first? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we do. Well, you gotta do anything. No, but that's Brandon? Mm hmm Okay. Uh, let me just start. I, I thought I'm still looking for her. Her first name is Marquia, right? Oh, yeah. M-A-R-Q-I-E. Last name. No, you. I'm sorry. No, you. It's just I. How tall are you? Like five foot. Five foot? Really? For real? Think I'm tall? Yeah. Five foot? How much you weigh? Like 190. 190. I'm get that off you. Just like the police department got it off me, but you see, I got it back. They'll get it off. They wouldn't hire me without losing weight. It comes back. You right hand or left hand? Right. All right. You have any injuries right now? No. No. Okay. Okay. You married? No. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta ask you a silly question. All right. Kids? No. Okay. Smart girl. Um, I didn't catch Brandon's last name. Boys. Okay. Is he a good guy? Yes. What's he gonna do with his life? Go be a truck driver. Like semis? Mm -hmm. Semis? Mm -hmm. Big over the road truck drivers? How much they make? Good, good amount. I'm not sure exactly. They do. I yeah, think they, they make probably 70, 80 grand a year. Good amount. Uh huh. Prison farting driver, yeah. Yeah, if, you're over the, if you go overnight. Mm -hmm. That's what he wants to do? Mm -hmm. Can I, can I, tell, right you, can I tell you a funny story? What? When I was little, my family wouldn't allow me because this is in the seventies to eat fast food. So I wanted to be a truck driver because I thought because I thought they were the only people that could go to McDonald's. Mm -hmm. And then I got my dad back because my first job was at McDonald's. At McDonald's. And I went there because they would never let me have it. Did you get some? Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you that guy gum right, but now I go to Chick Fil A and Chipotle because I can afford better food. <laughs> Uh, what's uh? Are you, uh did you graduate on mm -hmm. from Jones High School? Jones, good girl. You should be in the military already. Why you're not? The Corona I have mm -hmm. was supposed to leave, but it was everything got back. Everything got held back. Got held back. Got out of some weeks. They told you that? Well, no, they didn't tell me that. They said either that or I got to see if I could pass the um the tape measurement. Cause I'm a fit, like I could run do all that stuff. But they said I could I see if I could pass the tape measurement, like. When they take you around your waist and stuff. Why do you have a gun tattooed on your leg? This is an Egyptian lady. It don't mean it. Uh, it just tattoo. There's no tattoo issues for the military, though, right? Mm -mm. There not, is for, um, there I'm is not for doing, police. I'm not doing active. I'm doing reserve. Oh, you're doing reserve? So they make me, they, they don't really. So you should just go active, dude. Give them the four years and let them pay for your college. Not you ain't got time for that? What else you doing that's so important? work. Sonny's, really? They'll pay you to go. I know, but I don't think I'm ready to go active. Probably do two years reserve, then do active. Well, National Guard, what about the National Guard? Mm-hmm, I thought about that too. Let them do it. Let them, let them give you the money, let them, give, let them pay for your GI Bill, pay for the college. Yeah, they, got good. they pay your salary. They pay a lot of stuff. Good. They pay for you to live. They pay everything. Um, no college yet because of the corona. Well, I didn't, well, I got a step, well, I don't know. You didn't start classes at Bethune yet? No, I didn't start classes, but I was going, I'm going to Bethune. Okay, so you're going to do Army Reserve and Bethune. Now, do you, are you going to go to Daytona and go to Bethune, or are you going to do it yes, online? Oh, you are? Well, right now, I don't know, but I think right now I'm going to do it online, and then after the um, first semester, I'm going to go. Cause they said they doing some restricted, like you got to get tested, and it's gonna be like social distancing in school. I'm like, yeah, no corona tested. Will you will, will you end up living over there? You think? Once oh, you campus? once you go, yeah, I'll yeah. live on campus. Cause I'm that'd be home. easier than coming back and forth. Coming back and forth. So you're gonna go to the army or navy? Mm -hmm. Did he tell you that he's a navy guy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He tell you all you want to know about it. Man. Both of his sons are in the Navy, too. That's good. Yeah, he comes from a military family. You currently uh, influence drugs or alcohol? Nope. Any mental illness? No. Any patients? No. You been in trouble? No. You been arrested? I mean, I have. But As a kid? Probably fight, fighting. Fighting? Yeah. So you need to be in the military if you, if you want to be fighting. 
you ever thought about, um, like, um, you know, doing anything with military police or becoming a sniper or yeah, detective? Yeah, with the police. Yeah, being yeah. a detective in the military. So you must think like we do. I do. You think so? I think so. Are you going to solve this for us then? I'm ready. Please. Mm -hmm. well, we've been waiting all day. For we've been waiting all day for this. You got a you got a phone in that car? Mm -hmm. What's uh what's it what is it? What type of phone? My phone. You got a better phone than me? Yeah, I got an iPhone. You see that you see the third camera there, right? No, that's the X. Uh-huh. You got an eleven. Sonny's must play good. They, we get good tips. I mean, they pay good for right now, so I don't have any pay no bills or anything. All righty, raise your right hand for me, young lady. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you shall give in this case is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I swear. Okay. All right. I'm not going to waste your, any more of your time because you've been here all day and you have been nothing but patient. So I'm not going to ask you a thing. You know why we're here. I know you're not stupid. No, I want y'all to ask me. No, no, no. We are tired. We are tired. We are tired. We are tired. Okay? We are tired of playing games. We are tired of going round and round and round. You know why you're here. You know all this stuff. We're just going to let you tell it and see if you're going to keep your word that you are going to be in law enforcement and the military because you know you can't lie in either. So I'm just going to assume because of what your future will hold for you that you're going to do the right thing and we're just going to listen. Can y'all tell me what's going on first? You know what's going on. I don't know what's everything going on. You absolutely 100% do because your entire family's been down here all day. I see them, but I don't know what's going on. Okay, your family's been down here all day. Yeah, and we are tired. I'm tired too. I've been here all day. I know. Cold. I know. We've been up all night. I got them to the ground. I want to know what's going on too. We're not going to play games with you, okay? Okay, this is your car. So just. Okay, I got picked up from my boyfriend's house like 12 o'clock. Me and my cousin. Me and my cousin go. I told her I got to work at four. This is yesterday, right? I told her I got to work at four. She said, okay. I said, what you finna do? She said, no, nah, I'm really just chilling. I said, you want to smoke? So we go get some weed from across town. We look for over there in that area. We seen some boy running. He turned back around. And I said, look, why he running? So I know where we start hearing gunshot. So I told her to keep going. The only way we could go was on the one-way street. So we ended up turning on the one-way street. So while we turned on one-way street, I told her to keep going. We got back on our street to go back to where I stay on 315 West Concord Street. I go get my work clothes. No, I get my work clothes out of the car, took them upstairs, went up, tired to get them washed because I had to go home and get them washed. So I thought I'd get them washed. And her, we go smoke by, um, what's that park? They, it's on Pink Apartments. It's a park. I um, forgot. Um, we went over there. We went to smoke or whatever. We was in the car. We went smoking. After that, after we got done smoking, my cousin, the one with the purple hair, she had to work at 3.30 yesterday. So she called me around like 3.15, and she said, Bill, I got to go work at 3.30. You got to go work at 4, come get me, so we're going to make multiple trips. So I said, okay. I left there, went to go pick up my cousin. Me and my cousin went to work. Then, do you want to keep going from this morning? Go ahead. Then this morning, um, my cousin had to work at 11.30. Um, I had my car. My mom was gone visiting her mom in the hospital. So I had my car, and I took her to work. And it was a car following me the whole time. And I got to ask him, like, who is this, who is this? So we getting off the exit. A car hit me from behind, made me hit. Or they, a car hit me from behind, so I'm in the middle. And then I guess the car in front of me, the other police officer, stopped, so I ended up hitting them. I don't know how it happened. But I'm in the middle. I didn't one, I mean, one behind me, and they drew their guns. I told them to get down. Mm -hmm. we're, we're familiar with all that. Uh, what happened last night? Anything? Last night. I went to my boyfriend's house for a little bit. Didn't, the, didn't you say you worked? Last night, yeah. After I went to work. I mean, after I got off, I got off at 9 o'clock. How'd you I, get home? My cousin picked me up. Who's your cousin? Jari. She let me have my car. She picked me up. She picked you up at Sunny's last night? Mm-hmm. And then she took you where? To my boyfriend's house. And you stayed the night with I ain't stayed. I ain't stayed the night. You did? No. We stayed at my boyfriend's house. We was about to smoke for a little bit, but he had to go pick his mama up at work at 12 o'clock. So we left, and we went to my house. And back where? to 315 West Concord Street. We all Just the together. two of you? Just the two of us. We all stayed together. 
So just you and Jaria. Jaria. She picked you up in what bar? My car. From Sunny's. No. And she took you Brandon. She took me. She picked me up from Sunny's in my car and took me to Brandon House. Me and her was in Brandon House. We stayed at Brandon House for a little bit. We was about to smoke, but he said he had to pick his mom up at twelve o'clock because she had on um, the Salvation Army and she got off around that time. So he had his own way to he go. Had, get her. He had his own car. Own way to go get her. Yes, he do. He had his own car. So Jaria's little sister was not with you. Guys. Jaria, she was no, she was not with me. That's why. How I late did she work last night? She got off like seven thirty. What'd she do to get home? My, Jari picked her up too. Jari picked her up and them two went to the hospital. Jari and Jamal went to the hospital. And I got off at 9 30. I called on um, Jari and I said, Y'all done at the hospital. She said no. So that's when Maya came and got me from Sunny. So Maya came and got me while Jari was at the hospital. Correct. Which hospital? Winnie Palmer. And why was she there? I don't know. You guys talked about it in the car. Talked about what? Why she was at Winnie Palm? Yeah, she thought she was pregnant. And she is. Okay. Okay. Right. These aren't difficult questions. They're not. I made no question. Okay. These aren't so difficult questions. So we went to the. Um, she didn't have any physical reason. She just thinks she's pregnant, she or think, she is, or whatever. Yeah, happened. she thinks she was pregnant. So we all she was went having to the some abdominal home. pain. We went. No, I was at work. So I got up at seven thirty. So I was told her, "Wait, I want to go to the hospital with you to make sure everything okay." She said, I need to go now, and they're not going to let you go anyway. They're going to let one person back there. So Maya came and got me. We make it back to Wee Palmer, and then we had to sit outside because, like, he said, we can't both go to her. So we sitting outside. We went and went away, and she finally come out. After that, we dropped Maya back up. We dropped Maya off at home. Me and Jari went to go buy some more weed, and we went back home. Me, Maya, and my brother and my sister went to go smoke. Okay. Who went to go smoke? Me. My, my brother, the one with the red shirt. He only stayed here. We went to go smoke. And my other sister, Mariah, she's at my house right now. So Mariah, mm -hmm. Marianne. Markia. Me, that's me. And Jaria. And Gar and Jaria. What's working on this? Last night. Last night. Okay. All right, so let's go back to this little incident um, where these gunshots were. What happened? Be a little more specific. So. Which way did you drive in? I wasn't driving. Who was? Jari was driving. Jari was driving. All right. So, Which way did she drive into the neighborhood? I'm not familiar, okay? All I know was this lane work. So we was in, we was buying wheat from Molly World. Which so, is where? Um, it's all Paramount. I'm not sure direction why. But it's all called Molly World. So as we turn it, I guess we coming up here. As we turn it, we see somebody running. So I said, look, Jari, somebody's running. So we turned back around and we kept going. It was a white truck in front of us. And as we was going, I heard the gunshots and I tell her to keep going. But she was finna hit the white truck, so she had to turn off. That's how we ended up on the one-way street. And once we was on that one-way street, I told her to keep going. You got to go back to get us back to our house because we was on the one-way street. So after we got there, we went back to the house. And got my work clothes and stuff. How many gunshots? I'm not sure. Like five to seven, seven. Where were they coming from? I can't tell what direction. You shoot? I can't tell. Where the boy looked that was running? He was chubby, tall. He was a black, white, or Hispanic? He was black, but he was, he was black, but he like dark skin. He wasn't? He wasn't dark skin. How old do you think? Could have been like, could have been from 17 to 21. Which way was he running? Like, like he's running upwards, like, I don't know how to describe it. What was he wearing? A white tank top. Did he have a gun? I'm not sure. Did he get shot? I'm not sure. Do you know him? No. Nope. You ever seen him before that? No. Nope. Does that look like the guy you saw? Can you zoom me? I'm sorry. I ain't mean to do that. That's all right. The boy he seen. Uh, what color is he? I can't tell what color he is. Yeah, I can't either. Um, you mean his skin tone? His skin tone. Yeah. You think that guy's too dark? I think he's too dark. Was sure. he that? Was he that heavy? 
He was about that same size, probably a little bit smaller, but he had on, um, I think he had on long sweatpants. What color? Black, I believe, or gray. Um, who's Charlie your daddy? Hmm? Who's Charlie your daddy? He's not in the body. What do you mean? Um, is that the father, do you think, of this well, child? Oh, you're saying who is... Jaria dating. Who's she dating? Who's she dating? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know his name. I don't know his name, but I Go ahead. What, what you're about to say it. Your, lip, your, lip, your lips were about to say it. No, at first I thought you said who is Jaria daddy. Dating. I don't know who she's dating. I don't know his name. I know she talked to somebody. She talked to multiple people. Who she stay the night with when she takes your car? I don't know. I'd be at home. I'd be at Brent house. I told her she dropped me off. I don't come back out. She dropped me off. So when you told your mom to go get the key, where'd you send her today? I sent her um, Motown, I think. Yeah, Motown. Where'd you send your, Where'd you send your mom to get the key? I sent her to Motown. Okay, to who? I didn't send her nobody. My mom called me. I said, Mom, can you get my key from Jari? Mm -hmm. She said, Where's Jari? I said, I'm gonna have Jari called you. From there, me and my mom did not talk. Jari called her. They met up and got a key. Where I physically know Jari was, it was in Mota. Where? I don't know. With who? I don't know. I called my mom, told her to give me my key from Jari because Jari had the key in my pocket. Why do you think that we were coming after your car today? My car was probably somebody said a white two door car. It was seen leaving or something. Shooting? Possibility. I don't know how, but probably. Because you ended up turning, uh, going the right way on a one-way street, but then you made a couple of loops. Good idea. So you're going, you're, you, the one-way the one -way street that you went the wrong way on, I'm talking about the, the one, right when the shots were being fired, you were going the correct way on a one-way street. Is that accurate? Yeah, that was the correct way. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what road then? No, I do not. I wasn't driving. Okay, where is Molly World? Where were you headed? Had you already bought the weed? I was heading home. Okay. Can you swap with me and show her the map and kind of straighten out which way they were, which way they went, which way they turned? Just so I understand how you got into the neighborhood and how you got out. Okay. And... So where were you at when you saw the guy running? I believe I was still on drink. Okay. And then the guy just run and that he stopped came. you from buying weed? No, he started running. Like, he was running on his pants. So I said, look, and we turned back around. And then that's how we ended up going like that, from stopping to look. Okay. And when you left, though... You just t you told us that you were going the wrong way down. We was on the own. I know we was on a one way street and we was on the wrong way. Okay. We ended up turning up on the wrong way street. So would you say that you were driving pretty fast? No. I wasn't driving too fast. What made him running and holding? It? Why was that unusual for him to run and hold his pants? Like why? Why did that freak you guys out? You see somebody run holding their hand. They pan, nine times out of ten, they got a gun or something. But you said you didn't see him. I didn't see, I know, I did not see no gun. With him? Because he was just holding his pants? He was just like running and he was just was like. Was he running fast or something? Yeah, he was running pretty fast. And he was just going like this. Was somebody shooting at him? I heard gunshots when I got to um, the next thing, but I ain't seen nobody shooting at him. Did you girls shoot at him? No. No, I ain't dead. No. Got the ball to shoot at nobody. I thought you wanted to be a snake. Not shooting at nobody for for what reason? To protect myself. Or for the country. Can't I do fingerprints? Or something. Fingerprints for what? She just asked me to shoot somebody. Mm -hmm. shoot nobody. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so you're up there. You see this guy running, running around. You tell her to do do a loop, -a -loop and you come back around and you hear gunshots. Mm -hmm. And the gunshots 
in front of you. They more over this side way. They they I don't, they not in front of me. I don't think they was in front of me. The only way I'm gonna understand this is if she, is if we take her over there and she tells us where they were and where they drove. That's the way, I mean maybe you're getting this, but I can't picture it. I mean, because you don't know where you're at, and you said you got to see it, so we go to there. I'll be, I'm tell, I don't, you can ask my mom, I get sets out of her issues. Everywhere I go, I use my GPS. Everywhere I go. It's but you're not, more visual like I am. I'm more visual, like I yeah, said. Like I am, and uh, I, that's what I think. Um, um, why is it that uh, folks are telling us that the gunshots came from your car? That all of the gunshots, and believe me, there was more more than five to seven, came from your vehicle. Never owned a gun, never touched a gun, never even shot a gun. Did you loan the car to someone? No. Did you drive? I'm not, I can't tell you what she did. No, no, I'm, no, because y'all were there. I mean, yeah, we were together. But you're, I mean, you can because you were with her, right? Yeah. So, unless you're lying about being there when the shots were fired and she had somebody else had the car, y'all had it. We had right? the car. And what time was this? Around, she picked me up around 12-ish, 1 o'clock, like around. From Brandon's? Yes, I had text her and I said, cousin, come get me. I have to go to wash my clothes. Do you know where she was coming from? No, I do not. Because she had your car all night. I don't know where she was coming from. We were for the people who could no longer speak. Okay? Who And I'm yawning because we have not slept since yesterday. We've been up for well over 24 hours. We are exhausted. The reason you are here is because the people we spoke to yesterday told us the gunshots came from your car. I'm you and that the front pass front seat passenger and the driver are the shooters. And that's you girls. That don't make a lick of sense, though. I'm not shooting no pistol. I never shot no pistol. It was only me and Jari in our car. I don't know why they said we was the one shooting the car. That's what they told us. Oh, everybody out there. I never owned a gun, never touched a gun. Well, I'm as puzzled as I can be. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't know if, if Detective Overfield have more questions, but it would help me if we could just ride around with you and take you home. We're going to get your car back to your mom next week. Um, we're going to execute a search warrant on it. We're going to see if you told us the truth. Um, we're going to execute a search warrant on the phones and see if you told us the truth. On the phones. On the phones. They're so in the car. I'm going to my phone back to next week. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, honestly. Um, what, what's on, what's going to be on the phone? That's that's my oh. que that's our question. That's our question. I don't know if there's photos, video. We can go through it. Discussions. Together. No, he's going to have to do it uh, legally. Well, you know the password. That's what I was going to ask you. It'll make it faster. I'll 12, tell you. 11, 16. It'll make it faster. That's for sure. I believe. There's nothing in your phone or in your um, baby cousin's phone. That is going to indicate to us that you guys had anything to do with this murder. No. Jai. Jaria. Jaria is your cousin, right? Mm -hmm. And she's over at her boyfriend's house. Mm -hmm. Jaria has been told by your family to come down here all day, and she has refused. I'll get it down here. Huh? I'll get it down here. Why is she? Why is she acting like she's guilty? She's not dead. She don't. Because your it. your aunt sent a, her best friend to go get her to bring her down here. I'm saying I get her down here. And she refused to come down. She acting like she did something wrong. I get her down here. When y'all need her about today, tomorrow. I know today be better, but I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going home today. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home. I think we'll just go over there. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. She driving the car. Hmm? She driving your car when this happens? Mm -hmm. She was driving. Yes. Me and her was. You know what I'm saying? Me and her was in the car together. This makes no sense. That's what I'm saying. Shots fired. No. We was Do you know how many shot. shots were actually fired out there? How A many? shit ton. How many? I can't tell you exactly. We ain't counted them in CSI, so I have to. But a lot more than five to seven. Somebody died. I see. It's homicide. Mm -hmm. It's the real deal. It's just like watching the first 48. Mm -hmm. you in the th and you in the thick of it right now. Never thought of it. Mm -hmm. Never thought you'd be accused of murder because of all the neighbors out there said that oh, I ain't tripping about them girls were shooting at that boy. That boy. They ain't say them girls. 
Oh, I, oh, contraire. Oh, contraire. That's <laughs> what them girls. That's what threw us off. We got to put a picture. That's what basement. threw us off. They absolutely, uh, and that's why I asked to look at your hair. Mm-hmm. You can see it. It's long black hair. Like, me and my cousin got the same thing. But I was taking mine. Mm-hmm. I was fixing mine. So British. I had to go to work tomorrow. So I was fixing mine. It's straight. You do have braids, but that's uh, that. They aren't long, right? You're not gonna see the braids. You will see. Mm-hmm. You're gonna see this. You'll see this. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna see the braids. Mm-hmm. Did you have on a different wig yesterday? No, I did. it's not a wig. Oh, okay. just the front part is the frontal, but okay. you got you can't take it off unless you right. it's sewed on. Okay. The yeah. back part is glued on. Got it. And I have my hair done like this since. What's Jari's hair look like? The same thing like mine. Is it long? Hers a little bit shorter. Mine touch like right here. Okay. Hers like 24 and 22, 24. Okay. Who else did you see out there besides the boy in the white tank top? I seen the truck. The, the truck. truck? The white truck. Mm-hmm. But not the little truck that y'all almost ran it over. Oh, no, you do. It's all the same. No, it used, I know the white work truck you're talking about. Yeah, that's Because it was stopped. It wasn't stopped on. Let's just drive. I, I can't. Let me show us where that white work truck was. I'm confused. I'm going home. Mm. Do you want to go to jail for driving without a license? Of course not. I'm just asking. That's petty. You'd rather, if you'd rather do that than go home, Mm-mm. we can unarrest you and. Oh, my cousin. Oh, I think she's in the other room. Right now, I doubt Auntie's still here. She might. You want to check real quick? Yeah. Unless you prefer to go to jail for driving without so, a license. So, like, when I get my phone back? I don't know. Whenever it's done being processed. Okay. I don't know. I don't do those things. I'm not that smart. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to dump phones. But I don't how understand like, why I can't. How in the hell did everybody out there tell us that your vehicle is involved in this? I was there. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you were there. They got yeah. your tag number. Yeah. But physically, me shooting, I don't do fingerprints. Or don't do a little powder or something. <laughs> you too much I'm going to say, don't do a little powder or something. Y'all, and... and the car's in my mother's name. I'm, I'm going to go home and got hear my mama voice. Oh, you're not even kidding because she been in rare form here today. I don't got time for that. I already know what time it is. She finna say the car her name. I already know what time it is. Oh, she fixing to sell it. She got it. I ain't finna argue with her. Yeah, she fixing to sell it. She mad as she mad as uh. She you got know every reason what? to be mad. Hmm. She got every reason to be mad. Hmm. I think we've already I, we've been in here with you girls, but I think they've already executed a search warrant on her house. Oh well. Girls. Oh, well, go ahead. Ain't nothing in it. I think they already did it. They probably did. I think they already wrote it and everything. That's how, uh, that's how serious this got you <laughs> yesterday. Excuse me. Um, because you was, um, uh, y'all was right in the thick of it, boy. Mm-hmm. You're lucky to be alive. That's why I was trying to tell her to go after I heard them gunshots. Because the bullet don't got no name on it. You're damn right. It had somebody's name on it yesterday, though. So who got shot yesterday? A very innocent driver driving down the street. Miss it by Driving. Driving. Just passing through. Not even from Orlando. Mm. Just passing through. So how long is this not done? I know it's not. No, we got a lot to do, but um, you know, I mean we we don't uh we don't put innocent people in jail. There's no reason to do that. So we gotta keep keep doing what we do and figure out what happened. We stopped a orange vehicle yesterday. I think we stopped a black vehicle, a yellow vehicle. <laughs> we stopped everybody we could feel. We everybody that everybody's tag number that people got. Everybody we saw on video. We've been round the clock on this. We stopped an orange BMW, and that family they got taken out at gunpoint. Man, the way I got taken out was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your vehicle was actually. Uh, Con- considered all from yesterday, last night, and today, the vehicle that was the murder vehicle for the last 24 hours. Your vehicle was entered as a murder vehicle based on the witness descriptions yesterday from everybody outside. 
and the folks that were out uh, that I don't know if somebody followed you or what, but um, when you were doing all them crazy turns, because we knew you went the long way on South Street. Yeah, I know I went the Cause long way. Because they, because they told us that. Yeah, I know I went the long way. And somebody got your tag number, and a couple other people said it was girls, and some other folks said it was guys, and but then we stopped the car, and it's girls. But we heard both. Guys and girls both. Well, life is too fragile and too short to be trying to not make it to 25. You're right. Every day. It's too dangerous. Every day a body dropping. Left and right. Like it ain't nothing. But you can't, you can't be nonchalant about that. I mean, you know, just coming into Molly World buying weed to get you killed. And that's where my cousin always, like, okay, my cousin, um, she used to stay over there across town, like, she used to stay. Like, that was how, basically, when she could get in, when we used to, like, you know, when your, like, when your mom cut your doors off and you can, you already outside, and nobody can't let you in, that was how she would just go stay the night at, because mm -hmm. the door would be always open. Where did she buy his weed at? Mm -hmm. She knows them folks. Mm -hmm. So she feels safe over there. But you know, I mean, you could be going to a house that you know, but then you get yeah, you never know. <laughs> you get caught. You get caught in the middle of some like this uh, person who died. Today, you get caught in the middle of other people's business, and all you're doing is driving to get lunch. Mm -hmm. Listen. And that's it. Lights out. Done. That quick. That, that happens. Fast. It happens that fast. It's cool. Yes, it is freezing in here. And I've been here just sitting here. Being patient. Frustrated. Because mm -hmm. they're like, they didn't tell me nothing when I first. They didn't even ask me for no ID. They didn't ask me what my name was. They didn't have to. We knew who we were looking for. We knew all about y'all. didn't know y'all was looking for Rakia. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No. We knew about that. We knew about your. We knew, we knew everything. We've been working on this since yesterday. Yesterday. Since no. yesterday. We knew where the house was. We actually went to your house. Probably four or five times yesterday. Mm -hmm. Sat outside for a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not always. Uh huh. Where my car was. It wasn't there. Was it in the garage either? Mm -mm. Not when we went. We got locked in the garage yesterday. Sometimes I park in the garage or outside. It depends because my um. If my mom, Overfield and I got locked in your garage last yesterday. I began locked in too. Because couldn't sometimes, get out. We had to go ask somebody to let us out. Because sometimes I don't park on the side in the parking ticket. Dang on parking, girl. Ain't got nothing better to do. But their jobs. Take it in, folks. From 9 to what? What? When they start charging? 8? They start at 9, 8, 1. And then when's it stop? 9. At night? And then is it like a... Then it's free on the weekends. And you got to pay per hour? Mm -hmm. A no. dollar an hour? Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. A dollar forty five at a dollar forty five actually. Cause they take forty five cents to just to process it. So you gotta think. And do you have to do it on your app on your on your app? Can you do it from your apartment? You go down there and do it. I could do it well. There's no well oh, parking. Boy, apartment. Well that's just lazy. Uh -huh. You don't have to physically get down and put money in the mirror and you still didn't do it? Cause I'll be forgetting sometimes so, it expires. There's no one down there. Oh. I figured they left. Yeah. So do I take a both? Are you still She's still here? Yeah. Do you want to take them both? Just have her tell us what happened. Yeah, I can sit in the back. You want to take my car? I'll sit in the back. That way you guys can you can drive. Have her up front and then... All right, let me... Uh, and then we'll take the other young lady and we'll take them home. All right. Unless you want to go to jail, I don't feel like driving you down. I'm ready to go home. I'm 18. You would never been to jail? Never been. You need to stop jail. driving with a suspended license then. Yeah. What you doing? You're going to get somebody killed. You had her driving the car and learning permit. What I heard She drove yesterday. I know your time is valuable, so I'm going to keep this outro short and sweet. Part two for the series is coming soon. We're going to get to hear from the other girl that was in the car, Marquia's cousin. See what she has to say for herself. Stay tuned. Thank you for all your wonderful support. And remember to stay safe out there because you know it's a dangerous world.